Hello, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I am Brandy from Brandy's Tony and I Tarot. Please hit like, share, subscribe, and comment. Please comment, though, even a thumbs up, a smiley. Don't care. Let's YouTube know you're watching. Let's others know I exist. Thank you very much in advance. So pre-shuffle was, you're really trying to figure out how to make a business come into fruition. Or something stable, money-wise. Like, you want a plan. Well, in order to do that, I suggest you get out a pen and a paper, and you write down small goals that you need to do, and you withdraw from being so distracted. So, give me some cards, please, about Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. P.S. This is your mini read. If you need something more specific, you can now go to my Facebook to book. There you are. So this is like Gemini and Virgo, the magician. Really trying to bring that in. This is something that you've been wanting for a while. But you're only able to look at it because you keep getting distracted with all the thoughts in your head. Okay? Could be a person. Could be a person that keeps distracting you. Please keep in mind, if you're a cross-watcher, this message just could be for you, okay? It is a general, but my Facebook gives you two options, or you can go straight to uh, my actual site that takes all payment forms. Starts at 15 to 25 to 30. We have the two of wands. We have the three of wands. Looks like you're about to get those plans in action. Looks like you're really doing what I said. Maybe that's why I said it. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Knowing you got to put in a lot of work to make this happen. Okay? Nine of Swords. But you keep getting in your own damn way. Those are mental thoughts. Those are mental interferences. Those are letting things get to you. Okay? You're looking at it like it's too much work. But you're almost there. Man? You're like one step away from like being able to really move through this. You're looking at that work like, man, I don't know. There's also a fairy. It's like wishing someone would come do that work for you. Well, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Stop filling out a slump. What's this? Two of Pentacles. Okay, keep riding a fence. Can't be riding a fence. You got to decide which way to go. Which, okay, and this could be in your love or whatever, but which way are you going? You can't be here one day and there the next, okay? You gotta really those uh, distractions, those thoughts, those plans, because it looks like you're very able to do this, but you keep getting in your own way, okay? Queen of Wands, three of Pentacles, four of Pentacles in our line deck. It's almost like you just want to keep hanging on to what you got now, but what you got now won't get you to the future. Okay, uh, you're really needing to be confident in your decision and learn to work together with someone else. Okay, that seems to be the biggest message here. Also, definitely Earth. Definitely someone that portrays Earth. So, Six of Swords, I didn't even get to ask the question with the Two of Cups here. Okay, you're really needing to work together and move forward with a partner. The Fool flipped out too. You really need to learn to take a step. Okay, release those interferences, release those baggages that bind you. Alright, can you please, what do we want to clarify? Ah, we want to clarify the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles first. Alright, the Magician come out, but sideways, this is your challenge. That's your challenge of putting in the work. Okay, you gotta put the work in. Okay, what else about it? What's the advice for it then? The tower. You gotta change the way that you're looking at this thing. You gotta look at it differently. It's almost like the hangman. You gotta break down the way that you've always done things and do them in a different manner. Because what you're doing right now by interfering isn't working. So if you gotta shut the world out for two hours to really put in the work, then please do so. Okay, whatever this pertains, pertains to in your life, you're going to know more than I do. I'm just giving you the direction. Can you tell me ah, ah, about the two of fire and the two of earth for Gemini, Sun, Rising, and Venus? It's like 
someone very skeptical of you, like eyeing you all the time. And it makes you withdraw and just think about what it is that you've always wanted. That just came across very clear here. All right, give me the two of pentacles and the two of wands. All right, underneath strength. So I have the hangman and the two of cups. Two, two, two. Look up the angel number, it must mean something. February as well. Right? It's almost like you're just looking at a relationship like trying to see how you guys can move forward on this. Can you? Can you not? Or a contract working together with someone, you know, can we push forward with this? Uh, these cards are on, so I'm, ta I'm not taking any in the reverse. This is the star. Really needing to take the rubble from the tower and rebuild and remend and heal, okay? And heal. Really learn how to do something new with the uh, page of swords, okay? You're needing to study on this and not be so quick and be and get out of your own damn way is what I'm hearing. Get out of your own damn way. Now I'm going to use my oracle deck to give you a few words. And we're going to put this bad boy in a reading. Like I said, if you need something more specific, many ways that you can book a reading. Please be patient with me, though, because I will be on the road, but I will have all my stuff. All right. Two cards automatically. There was a love not meant to tame. The hardest goodbye is the one never spoken. So this looks like a partnership. A partnership that started off great, then you got in your own way. You got in your own way and you are not speaking about already mentally leaving. That's why. Holy shit. Holy shit. One more, please. Ask me you shall receive. You shall receive. Cry out loud. Cry out loud. Like you need to speak. Mm -hmm. You need to speak. You must fight for what you want and don't compete in power. Okay? That means don't compare to yourself to others, but you actually have to put the work in to get somewhere. All right? All right.